Hello, welcome to The Word in a Flash. I'm Dr. Freddie B. Wilson. Today's subject is titled, Finding the Truth. In my book, Fact Is, Truth Is, I provided many definitions of how the world defines the word truth. Sometimes what we see as fact does not always prove to be true. We often live by and believe only believe in only what we can see. However, as believers in God, we cannot always go by and depend on what we can see. Let's not be complex here. We must acknowledge what we see to actually exist, but through faith and belief, we must also know that God can change any given circumstance or situation. In other words, God can change the facts in our lives through the truth in his word. Matthew McGrath said, uh, the value of truth is to be found in the fact that it distributes across conjunction while falsity does not. The, def the definition of truth changes over time, and it also depends on who's giving you the definition. Hebrews 13.8 says, God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. I believe in that truth. Richard Gossett says, Although seldom developed philosophically, science accepts the fact as a fact if and only if another experimental can replicates it. We should not base the truth on more on mere religion. Our relationship with God will prevail to us a truth that man cannot easily define. Don't get me wrong here. I'm not trying to debunk scientific theory of those of you who are scientists. I'm not trying to debunk, debunk science. I believe science is fundamentally needed in the world for man to progress. Conversely, we must put all our beliefs, we must not put all our beliefs in science. For science, truth is defined by being able to repeat a certain act or event. In Christian life, God will enable us to do things where he will perform miracles uh, that cannot be repeated or understood by man. Uh, I can give an example in my personal life that uh, one example was in 2015, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. That was a terrible uh, diagnosis for me and my family. And But I refused to worry about it. I put myself in prayer and I prayed with my family to make a decision. And I went through the doctors, they had to have surgery. Everything went fine. There was some ups and downs after it, of course. But today I'm healthier than I was prior to my diagnosis. Prostate cancer, I may have had prostate cancer, but prostate cancer didn't have me. Thank God. You too can be going through something in your life that is a fact, and the solution may seem impossible. If you've been going through that thing for a while, remember God's timing is not our timing. You may want to ask God what it is that he wants you to learn through the experience you're, you're dealing with. The truth is God can bless you to overcome your situation miraculously, the results of which could not be duplicated. That may be different in science of what their expectation is of the truth, but I know God performed things that mankind just cannot understand. Us educated people are some of the worst people on that because we don't think that anything beyond our education or the things we're able to do, it can't happen. But let me tell you, no matter the amount of education, no matter how much money, no matter your achievement, there's some things in this world that it only takes God to do. You cannot do it by yourself. So I, I, I uh, encourage you to keep your faith in, in God. Read his word. And through that, the truth will come out. And you too can have a brighter tomorrow and know what the truth in God really is. Be blessed.